Hey guys, this is James from Post22, and I am going to go over time remapping in Final Cut X. So if you already do this in After Effects, like me, then you probably know how annoying it is. Um, just to bring everything into After Effects, tweak it, render it out, bring it back into Final Cut, it's kind of an involved process. Uh, Final Cut Pro X makes it a lot easier. It's not as flexible, but it's getting it's pretty pretty good. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right, so got my clip. I'll set an in and out. So start it there. End it there. I want to slow mo that hurricane grind. Um, so that's the trick I want to slow mo right there. I've got my clip. Let me just play it really quick. All right, that's it. So I've got this ready. Now to slow mo it, you just do speed ramp to zero, and it gives you these kind of arbitrary weird numbers right here. What it's doing is slow moing a clip. At the beginning, it starts at 100% and it goes all the way to 0%, which is, uh, I mean, pretty useless for anything that I do. So you want to start it uh, at 100. So set your first little like, block to 100. Then you want to have a slow mo section, and then you want to end it at 100 again. Do whatever you want with this fourth block. It always separates these into like four sections, um, and I don't think you can change that from what I've uh, found. So the first thing you have to do is pick where the slow motion starts and ends, and you do that by setting uh, these things called source frames. And so I've got the general outline of it, start fast, go to slow, end fast. I want the slow motion to start right about there. I want it to end right about there. And then I want to make it slower. And now I'm actually done. It was really fast. So let's try it out. Yeah. You might have noticed the sound was all jacked up right there. So that's just a toggle because uh, by default, it preserves the pitch of the sound. So you want to take that off for what you're doing. That was pretty easy. Um, there's no rendering or anything. It's already in your timeline, ready to be edited. Uh, you might notice that it starts slowing right around this area. That's just because it gives you a default curve that, as far as I know, you cannot change. Whereas in After Effects, you can get really detailed and get the curves exactly how you want them. It's, it's so close to being accurate that it really doesn't matter for me. Anyways, I'm going to... Keep trucking and stay tuned for some more clips.